Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll talk about password attacks. Password attacks are very common since the beginning of internet era. So we are all received password or we were subjected to a password attacks because any internet user got like a phishing mail, someone asking him to log into his account, bank account or social media account because the password expired or because of a security issue. And most of these mails are fake. They are trying to push you to click on the link and enter your credentials. And these credentials are going to land on his, on the hacker server, not on the right place. In most of the cases, um, it works like this example on my screen, um, a hacker sent a user, um, an email asking him to look in or to give his credentials and then the hacker will use them against the user. This is one way and there is another way. So if you can't get the user or if you can't force the user to click on the link and give you his password, there is another way which is the brute force attack. And in the brute force attack, you use a dictionary of words to guess the username and the password of the account and try to log in. And there are a lot of tools that help in performing this kind of attack. And one of the most famous of these tools is Hydra. And today we are gonna use Hydra to brute force a login form. Let me now start introducing the tools that I'm gonna use today. We are gonna use OWASP. Oh, let me go back to VirtualBox. We're gonna use two virtual machines running on my um, Windows system. And the first one is Cal Linux. Um, and it is the famous um, operating system for penetration testers, hackers, or anyone who is interested in cybersecurity in general. And the second machine is OWASP. And OWASP is, as the name suggested, broken web apps. And these broken web apps are made to use for testing. So I created a network. I created a network inside the virtual machine or the virtual box. And these two machines are connecting to, are connected to this network. They are not connected directly to the internet. And you need um, the IP address of the machine to get them to connect them to each other. Let us go to the OWASP machine. I'm just gonna click on Control C. So as you see, if you type in the terminal ifconfig, you will have the um, network information. So you will get the IP address of the machine, this one, and then you can go back to your um, Cal Linux machine. I'm using Firefox on Cal Linux. And you can type this IP address and you will have the main page or the home page of OWASP web broken apps. And inside on this page, you will find different apps for different cases. And today we will use OWASP bricks. And inside OWASP bricks, we will go to the menu on the top right and we will use login pages. And we will use login number one. Um, before we continue, I created already, or I created in the past a video explaining how to install these machines and how to create a network and how to connect them all together. Check my cybersecurity playlist to, to see how you install and configure them all. Now we have this login form and let's go to the start menu in Linux and we have here password attacks and there are a lot of different tools and we have also word lists um, but we are going to use Hydra so this Hydra when you open it you will have kind of explanation how it works and what are the parameters that you need to type to 
get it working or to brute force a password. We will see them all in one example. So in order to brute force this login form, we need to know first what's the message that we are going to get if we type the wrong password. Let's try the wrong password. So it's saying wrong username or password. We need to copy this and put it on the side. I'm just gonna create a a word file or text file and I'm gonna write it inside the text file. So this is error message. And then we need to know the name of this field and the name of this field. So we will go to inspect to the developer tools. And as you see, we have here a name and we need this value, name, password. And then we need the username also the name, it's password, it's username. So we need these two values, username and password. Because Hydra is gonna catch the input value of these two names as, and it's gonna try to brute force them using a word list. So these are the most important three things inside the page and we need also the IP address or the domain or the complete URL. So we need the URL and we need username input username and we need the input as you see it's pass wd pass wd so these are the values that we need and we need um a word list you can check the word list that you have. I think Kalinux has some pre-installed word lists. I'm gonna use the metasploitable word list in this tutorial. Let me just show you the like the final example. I'm not gonna bore you in typing everything. So we are gonna use the first. I'm gonna just copy paste it and then we are gonna go over each value alone. So we have Hydra, this is the command line Hydra to run the tool. And then we have the HTTP form. Yeah, I forgot to mention that we need to look into the form and to see what kind of method because there is post update um, git method and the method in this uh, form is post. So that's why we wrote HTTP form post. So this is the method how we are submitting our form. Then we need the URL as you see with some parameters. So this is the first thing. So this is the, sorry. The first thing is the IP address. And then we need the form, which HTTP post. And then we need to type the URL with the um, input for password and the input for username. And we, we need to put them in double quote. So the first thing is we have the URL. And then the second thing 
these are all part of the attack and then the second thing you need to put them inside these two signs these two symbols so as you see the user name is equal these two so the tool is gonna replace the user from the word list we have as i mentioned two lists one for user and the other one for password and then we have the second thing we have password and then we need to check the submit so what's the value of the submit and then the last thing we need after the colon we need the message that we are gonna get so we have the submit and the submit if we go to the developer tools we are going to check okay we have here a button we're going to do hover over the button then we have the id the type and the name is submit so we need these this value submit and if we go back to breaking down and then at the end we need the message and we need to add the list for users and the list for passwords i'm gonna put this inside um, in the description of the video so to make it easier for you to copy paste because they are pre-installed on cal linux with meta exploitable framework sorry with metasploit framework because metasploitable is the testing machine so now let's go over it again for the last time we have hydra the name of the tool and then we have the ip address and then we have the type of the form and then we start um a codes and we start with the url of the page and this is as you see of us bricks login one index PHP and then we have after the colon we have username and then user and after this value we have an ampersand and then we have password and then we have also ampersand and then we have a colon and then the um error message that we get if we submit a wrong value and at the end we have dash with l and a link to the user list and uh, i forget this one on the top and we have p with the list to the password please note if you make a mistake and like for example if you make a mistake in the error message you will get everything right and this is not the right way like all the values that are gonna come in the terminal are gonna be right and you are gonna be lost you don't know which one is right and which was wrong is wrong and especially if you are trying 1000 word or 2000 and all of them are giving you a right um, answer they are right for the login which is not correct um, let us now try to run the command in the terminal so we have a new terminal I'm gonna do just paste clipboard and we are gonna so as you see now the form started and it returned this answer so now it says that the login is admin and the password is admin so let's type in admin and admin and submit 
and as you see it says successfully logged in so this is how um, brute force attack with a word list works using hydra as i mentioned you need just to type or to collect the right information from the page the url the ip address and everything and then perform but this is just to show you how to test your password policy it's not made like to help you to to attack other people so please be careful and don't use it against um, others so it's just for testing and for learning purpose thank you and if you have any question please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe